This conference will now be recorded. So we may still have that, yeah. Yeah, first, yeah. I guess, from that first one, the last one we last. No, we did get older. Yeah. Well, uh, via email, all of a sudden I don't have that number again. You said it would be funny. Okay. Uh, the, the okay. So, so Mr. Conner, Commissioner Coppels released back into this. Right, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to. Mr. Mayor, let me make a motion to go back into regular session. And we also need to indicate that the matter of discussion in the closed session were limited, limited only to those specified in the motion for closure and that no action was taken. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Koppel, seconded by Commissioner Candy. Attorney Dick's discussion on there's no discussion. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Bolt. Yes. Commissioner Compost. Yes. Commissioner Richter. Yes. Commissioner Mandy. Yes. Yes, we are in regular session. Uh, do I have a motion? Uh, we'll go back to the, uh, the, the audit. Yeah. We'll go so back to the audit. Yeah. Prior to, prior to. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion for resolution 2021-022, except this is the June 30th, 2020 audit report and financial statement for the city of Lovington. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Gandy, second by Commissioner Bernard. Uh, Gary? Uh, yes, your mayor and commission. I have the auditor on, on my cell phone. Uh, do we want to give her a chance to call in on the other line one, real quick, one chance, or just continue on cell phone? Can she call in? Uh, she, she can try. Yeah. Would, would you be willing to stay on the cell phone and then just give us a quick call on the other line? Okay, so she's going to do it. Uh, yes, so uh, I can't remember the number right off. It is. It's uh, area code 408 650 Is this the system? No, ma'am, this is the call it directly through your phone. And then, yes, it will. It'll ask access code. Are you ready for that? Yes. Four nine seven five four four nine eight nine. Okay, I'll call that number now. Okay, thank you. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> Is it showing anyone? Not yet. How many? Did you? Oh. Sound like it. Never it works. Person. Board members. Board members. Oh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. You Wonderful. Have, you, have floor, you have the floor, so go ahead. Great. I'm so sorry. You're I tried sorry. every way in the world. In the world. Gary, is Gary, your cell phone still on? I know, ma'am. I turned it off. I get. I have a huge I echo. Have a huge echo. Why would she have an echo? 
It's like everything I say is delayed, and that's all I hear is what I'm saying. Is there a computer on so Ms. Willoughby, is your computer on as well? Uh, no, my computer is not on, just my cell phone. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're going to do the best we can, if that's all right. Okay, we're listening. Go ahead. Okay, so, so first I'd like to talk about what we did and what an audit is. Um, whenever you look at your booklet, this entire packet that you have, these are your numbers, your financial statements. And we as auditors cannot alter those numbers without asking Gary to make a journal entry in your books and records. Now, I may take it, this information and add accounts receivables and payables and a, a fixed assets and long-term debt for different presentations, but I want you to know these are your numbers, and I'm not allowed to change those. What we do is we audit them, and we determine if they're fairly presented. And that's a term that you may not be familiar with, but fair presentation means that we we have a range of tolerable misstatement. So using your revenues by fund, we determine how much you can be different than what we think you should be. And that's how we determine a fair presentation. I generally always audit cash to the penny. I was not able to do that specifically here without some in other words, I did not agree with your general ledger or your bank reconciliation in this particular case. But I had the luxury of doing a, a bank reconciliation after fact. So what, what that means is I'll take your ending balance and I see all of the outstanding checks that clear after that date. So that when you, you have some confidence, whenever you look at your audit report, that your cash is exactly right um, fixed assets were were not necessarily within tolerable misstatement so in saying that I could have issued a different opinion but I chose not to because I finally got comfortable enough with that number to move forward and when I tell you I could have issued a different opinion let me talk about that just a minute uh, we can issue an unmodified opinion, which is a good one. That means that your numbers are fairly stated. I can issue a modified opinion, which says your numbers are good except for this one thing. And in this particular case, uh, I thought that I might have to issue a modified opinion, which would have been Everything is fairly stated except for your fixed assets. And when I talk about fixed assets, I'm talking about your buildings and streets and all of your equipment. So, but towards the end of all of my work that I did on fixed assets, I began to determine that, and, and you'll see in the audit, one of the audit findings, that I was a, a large, there was a large variance one direction and a large variance going the other direction. And if you look at it netted, it is fairly presented. So therefore, you were able to receive a good opinion, a fair opinion, an unmodified one on your financials. We also talk about in your opinion letter. There's, there's other things we talk about, about compliance, and we're gonna, I have issued a report that's at the end of your audit that addresses compliance. Compliance means, did you follow all federal law, all state laws? Uh, do you have strong internal controls? Uh, anything that we consider a compliance uh, issue or a requirement, the state auditor often gives us uh, directives and and so we have to audit for compliance um, our 
Ma'am, I was going to ask, what page did you come in off of? I just kind of lost me on that. That's all still on the first page. Yes. Keeping around on that a little. Oh, she just read okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Time. I'm just talking in general about oh, okay. what kind of opinion I gave you. I I haven't addressed any numbers, and everything that I'm going to talk about tonight is is real general. So I don't want you to get bogged down in some of the numbers. Um, in saying that. You know, we, we did not have a good year, and I'm sure you're well aware of that. And, and that's what my audit report says, is that you had a very difficult year this last year. Um, in fact, we had a loss, which is just the difference in how much money came in and how much money went out of about... Um, Sorry, $3.3 million. And, you know, let me tell you something. This echo is so bad. I don't, I don't know if, if I can keep going with this kind of conversation. Are you guys sure you can hear me okay? Because it is really Yeah, yeah you're coming across perfect. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, coming up quick. It does. It, if, if it disturbs you, we could put you on on Gary's cell phone. That if that would help. I know that's probably irritating. Would you that know, help you? Yeah. it is. And I don't know if we just want to postpone this to your next meeting and see if we can make all this technology work. I actually had my IT guy log in to try to solve the problem, um, and he was working on my computer. So that's why, that's another reason. But now my computer, I'm not even close to it. I'm far away, so that's not the issue. Okay, Dan, we can, what we can do is we can uh, table this till our next board meeting, and that way we, everybody has a clear understanding of the audit and what is taking place. I know, uh, that would I would really like that because I feel like I can't, I can't do this. It's just, I need to address some issues and talk about it. and. And all I hear is myself screaming back in my ear. So, and I don't know how we're going to solve this problem, but Gary, if we could, we're going to need to be sure that I can log on and you can hear me before the meeting starts, if that's all right with you next time. I could hear you guys perfectly and you couldn't hear me at all. So I don't know what's going on, but. Um, before the next meeting, if we don't mind, I would like to be sure that you can hear me and everything's working correctly. And our next meeting yeah. will be in two weeks. Uh, I believe so. What is the date on the next meeting? Okay. It'll be the 26th. It'll be the 26th. Okay. Wonderful. I'll I'll get you on my calendar and, and there is no reason why I cannot do this. It's just we're having technology issues. So I certainly apologize. No, that's okay. fine and, and the board would appreciate that as well. Uh, that okay, I think so. Yeah, time. that would be much better for me. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to table this until our April 26th meeting, resolution 2021-022, acceptance of the June 30th, 2020 audit report and financial statement for the city of Lovington. And I'll second that. Motion was made by Commissioner Gandy to table to our next board meeting and second by Commissioner McConnell. 
Is there any discussion? If there is no discussion. Roll call. Vote, Shannon. Commissioner Yes. Commissioner Bowles. Yes. Commissioner Gandy. Yes. Commissioner Butcher. Yes. Yes. Uh, do I have a motion? Ms. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to appoint David Miranda as interim chief of the Levinson Police Department with the understanding that he remains in charge of the Criminal Investigations Division and all other responsibilities as assigned by the interim city manager, David Rodriguez. I'll second that. Motion was made by Commissioner Coppel, second by Commissioner Bernard. Is there any discussion? There's no discussion. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Booker? Yes. Commissioner Gandy? No. Commissioner Bowles? Yes. Commissioner Gumbles? Yes. Commissioner Trujillo? Yes. So it's, it stands out, new interim chief of police will be uh, Detective David Moran. Do I have a final motion? Mr. Mayor, let me make a motion to be adjourned. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Cox, taken by Commissioner Gandy. Is there any further discussion? There's none. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. Heroes and cornbread. Oh, I didn't. That's why. Okay. I love that. I love that stuff.